Niklas, and I have a boat. Wow. Uh, I happen to be over 50, and I have Volvo Penta machines in my boat. And driving the boat, it's very hard to read the displays from Volvo Penta. Especially if the sun is shining, you can hardly read what's in the display. So, in order to be able to see what I need to see, for example, how much fuel do I have left? Uh, I wanted to try Volvo Easy Connect. And have that connected to my Garmin. 7012 and then I bought the extra display GMI 20 uh, yeah and I got the marina to install this for me because I didn't have the confidence to do it myself so uh, they did this and they didn't manage to make it complete so I'm going to show what happened to me and how I found out how to fix it myself. I have the Volvo Easy Connect connected and I will start my Garmin 7012 which is my main navigation system. It takes a while for it fire, to fire up. We are waiting. Uh, you can see down here. This is how it's connected, all of it via NMAO. Uh, I have the GMI 20 there. I have Volvo Penta here, and then I have uh, the rest of the Garmin stuff over there. I have VHF. I have a radar, and I have a GPS antenna. Uh, I think pretty normal equipment. So, now we have the uh, navigation up and running. So, uh, and you can see there's a GPS signal. And you can see there's a GPS signal. It should, it's looking as it should. Uh, and you can see there's a GPS signal. It should, it's looking as it should. Uh, we can look at the GPS. So this is how it looks. NMA at 2000, unit list. Um, there you have all the units connected. VHF, GMI 20, and the GPS up on the roof. Uh, going back. Um, the radar is connected via Ethernet. So that's how it looks. So now what I will do now is I will turn on the ignition to Volvo. I turn on both engines. And wow, this is what happens. It says no GPS connection and the GPS is lost. And uh, that is quite funny, huh? So what and uh, that is quite funny, huh? So what actually happened is uh, So if you go into configuration and you go into communication and then you go into NMA at 2000 and you look at the unit list and then you can see loud and clear that the Volvo Penta system is then added easy connect all nice and fine huh all nice and fine huh and um, but I lost my GPS and that's not so funny huh and um, but I lost my GPS and that's not so funny, huh? 
So what you need to do is that you go back again. Uh, we can start from the beginning. So this is the deal. You go into configuration, you go into communication, and you go into you see here NMA where you can find all the units but what you have here is standard source as line 5 this is added just because the Volvo Penta is connected now you go into standard source and here on GPS it says auto we don't want to have that because apparently Volvo has a bug in their system being identified as an additional source of GPS you don't want to do that so you want to change source and you want to force it not to use auto anymore you see it finds Volvo Penta here no clue why I think this is a problem Volvo Penta and uh, Garmin should talk to each other about and fix I think the problem is also on other navigation systems not only Garmin so I think it's a Volvo thing that it's identified as uh, sending in the same protocol or something I don't know I'm not a genius but I will force my system to use the GPS from Garmin and well the GPS is back well the GPS is back so now I will leave it like this uh, and go back and go back and go back and now everything is okay so uh, yeah that was the fix how does it actually look uh, with the Volvo Penta you can use information and you can then see that you have different information here you choose engines and then you get the different engines here I have the ignition on so I haven't started the engines and, uh, you have different options to look at and you can fiddle around with this I haven't gotten to it yet I have just filled in how much petrol do I have so I can keep control over this so I will figure this one out as it goes but I'm gonna use this one to navigate and I'm going to use this one over here to figure out how to put it on uh, in a nice way and here I would like to see how much fuel do I have left the fuel con consumption uh, how deep it is I will use the Volvo's depth uh, to, to see this here uh, in addition to this glossy LCD screens from 19 I don't know what I don't know why Volvo has done it like this it's 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 a nice thing that they have thought about giving all this information from the EDC but it's so lousy when the sun is shining you can't see it so this is going to be my gadget to see Volvo and I tried it yesterday actually Easy Connect and the GMI. If you want to, you can make a separate system, an MAI system on those two. You just have to secure that you have powered it, and then it works together. Well, well, that's it. Over and out. Think about the other peoples on the sea and in the yacht clubs. So now I've fiddled around and as I said it's re really hard to read those so this is how an old man wants to have it I can see the tank I can see to the right the fuel consumption and I can see the depth and the temperature of the water so we can jump in and swim Fiddled a little bit with GMI 20 together with uh, Volvo Easy Connect. As I said, this is how it looks with the Garmin 7012, but I'm gonna use it in navigation mode. So 
this is how I prefer to have this one. But here we come to the DC Connect in conjunction with the GMI 20. And you can do what you want with it. You can uh, adjust your pages yourself. So this is a standard page, which I will most probably not use. But here, in order to be able to see how much fuel I have, there's that one. You see, you cannot read it. So, and then I have here some navigation information if I want that. Here I have the flow of petrol through the engines, liter per hour, the rev, the engines, which I think is good, and I can see that. For example, I do here. And, uh, here, fuel tank, consumption, depth, water temperature, tank, speed, rev per engine, rev per engine and the trim up and down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.